YouTube, welcome back. Do you want to learn how to crank 90s on Fortnite with a Logitech G923 steering wheel? Stick around. So, to get things started, you want to head over to your preferred search engine and search for this program called joy to key You want to click on the first link here. Click here where it says download the latest free version. So once you've installed the program and run it, you'll end up with a screen that looks like this. Now this might look very, very daunting to start off with, but it's actually quite simple to do. So for this, we're not going to be using the pedals to control the character in Fortnite. We're going to use the steering wheel and we're going to use the gear stick. So the first thing you want to do in this application is go to settings and configure joysticks. And what you'll see here is configure game controller properly. Click on here, which opens this box here. Obviously I've got the Logitech G Hub G923 racing steering wheel. Click OK, click OK again, and then we're good to go. So as you can see with this program, if we turn the wheel left and right here, you'll see there is input showing here. We put the stick forward and the stick back, we've got inputs here. Now I already have these things set up for the games I've played with before. And to choose your select input, it's as simple as this. You double click on the select thing, you click in here, you get rid of that, and let's say you want it to be on F for example, you click on that. If you want it to be H, click H. But for this particular one, we're going to want W as forward is W. So as you can see now, when I'm moving the gear stick forward, we're creating an input and we're using W as the input. Now, as you can see here, when it comes to the mouse movement, it's a little bit more complicated. And this is how you set things to your own preference. So again, we'll double click in here. And what you want to do is find the mouse section on here. And let's say we want the left input on the wheel to be left on the mouse. So we click on here for left. We then adjust these sensitivities to our liking and we click OK. So as you can see, when I go left with the wheel, it's generating an input. When I go right with the wheel, it generates an input. In order for this to work, we need to click off the application. And as you can see, the mouse moves freely across the screen. But now what we'll do is we'll hop into a game and we'll show that everything's working. So one last step before we get into the gameplay here. If you have false feedback on your steering wheel, find a way to deactivate it. With the Logitech wheels, it's as simple as just unplugging the power brick and then when you're in the game, you don't feel the stiffness of the wheel. You can just control the wheel as if it would be a normal controller. Also, another point, if you're enjoying this content, like, subscribe and comment. It helps me out. It helps the channel grow. It helps me bring amazing content to you guys. So now what we need to do is load up a game, test the wheel and test the settings. And here we are in the lobby. And as you can see here, I'm going forward on the stick, backwards on the stick, forward on the stick and we turn left and right. We're also hitting as well. We're jumping, we're crouching, and we're swapping. So it all worked. Obviously now would be a perfect time to sell your sensitivity out. As you can see, I'm turning around a million, yeah. So you can sort all your settings out, sort your sensitivities out, and get rocking and playing some Fortnite. And that's it. That's how you play Fortnite Battle Royale with a Logitech G923 steering wheel. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. I'll see you in the next one.